started staining the uh, cabinet with this red mahogany stain. I've got a lot of work to do on it yet. Uh, I've got some areas that are still kind of blotchy. Uh, I've, I've distressed the wood a little bit because I want it to look kind of antique -y, and those stresses seem to be uh, working pretty well. This is a, a brass rod that I've inserted just to show you how that's going to fit into the carcass here or the framework and I'm going to leave the end of the brass rod exposed uh, here on the front of the cabinet. Uh, I may end up rounding that off a little bit and let it uh, stand a little bit proud. I haven't decided yet. I've got enough of the brass rod uh, embedded in the wood there that I can pull it out a little bit and round it off and I want to make it dome shaped. This is just kind of a dry fit. Uh, I've attached the dragonfly to the leather and I've just kind of got the panel forced in there. I don't have the brass framing put around it or anything and I still got to clean up around the dragonfly. Uh, I stuck this on with thick super glue and there was some squeeze out and I'm not sure how I'm going to get that off of that leather without messing up the leather but I'm going to try some acetone. Hopefully that won't take the dye out of the leather. I'll have to check and see. But uh, anyway, that's kind of what that front panel is going to look like. And each, of course, it doesn't show the brass uh, framing around the leather yet. But uh, the side panels will have smaller dragonflies centered in them. So uh, I'll report back on this after I get along a little further.